Llyr Griffith. Uh, Thank you, Llywydd. I want to raise the issue of sustainability of health services in rural areas with you, if I may. There is a surgery in my region in Corwen which serves 4,000 people in the area which borders Gwynedd, Conwy and Denbyshire. It's a very rural area where they've been receiving a rural grant from the local health board to ensure that the service is sustainable there. They've also been doing additional work such as blood tests and one of the partners is a specialist in cardiac issues but the health board is now withdrawing that grant and saying that they as a surgery need to diversify and that puts them in a situation an impossible situation to all intents and purposes and bear in mind that this happens in the context of losing community hospitals which have been providing some of these important services in rural areas from Llangollen in the east to Blaenau Festiniog in the west so may I ask you to ensure that the Health Secretary brings a statement to this Senate as to what support the Welsh Government is providing to ensure that health services such as those in Corwen can continue to be sustainable in rural areas. Is the Government content that the Health Board is withdrawing this specific grant and undermining the sustainability of rural surgeries in North Wales, such as the one in Corwen, and what exactly is the long-term vision of the Welsh Government in terms of securing the sustainability of health services in our rural areas? Well, it's important to, uh, in response to that question, to, to recognise that the Health Board is working in partnership with the GP practice in Corwen to agree ongoing funding support in line with the Welsh Government's GP Sustainable Assessment framework work and that should help the practice continue to provide a service for residents of Corwen and the surrounding area. In fact they're finalising payment for additional cardiology services provided by the practice. Um, the Health Board's committed to make a significant investment into the development of Corwen uh, Health Centre and is currently tendering from contractors to finalise plans for the development. So that, obviously that's hopefully an update for you in terms of progress in uh, recognising issues in that area but of course we continue to invest record levels of funding in primary care.